Okay, digital photo one and two. Um, this is for you. Uh, two, you don't have to do this. This is optional, but it might be fun and it won't take you too long. So it's really up to you. Um, typically around this time of year, I usually um, do a monsters lab in Photoshop because of Halloween. Um, so I know we don't have Photoshop, so instead I'm gonna do a Snapseed tutorial for you and show you how to do a double exposure and play around with the tools in Snapseed. Um, out of all the photo editing apps, um, Snapseed comes with a free one and also a paid one. Um, I feel like it has a lot of options for photo editing and if it's not something you already have, it's a good idea to get it. Um, that and Lightroom I think are my top ones. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Basically gonna show you how to download two images um, double exposure and then just play around with the tools a little bit. Um, no big deal, probably take you guys minutes, you're real quick, you're all really quick about this. Um, and I just, I don't want you to stress about it, it should be really fun. And I'm going to be asking you to edit uh, more than one image, so I'll, I'll outline that in the actual assignment later. But for now this is just a tutorial on how to get started with Snapseed. So um, go ahead and download it from your app store and get it on your phone and then we'll start there. Um, it is a Halloween. I do want you to do um, create a monster. That's the assignment for Halloween. Now if you're um, It's against your religion or you don't celebrate Halloween your family doesn't want you to do Halloween related things That is totally okay. Um, you can go ahead and choose other photos. You do not need to do a monsters theme Okay, so we're going to open up Snapseed First thing you're going to want to do and I'm going to have to describe to you what I'm clicking on because you can't see my finger taps um, you're going to open an image, so I clicked on open, and then you want to open from your device, and I'm going to go to all photos, and I already chose some images here. Um, I follow Mab Graves, she's an, um, a sort of a neo-surrealist artist, and every year she does this thing called Drawloween, and every day of October there's a different theme. Um, and so sometimes I save those onto my phone and I share them with friends and I also put them on Facebook and it's just something I like to do because it's a really creative sort of source of um, imagery during this time of year. It's really fun to look at these. So I chose two images. I'm going to start with this one. And you can see this is her Instagram page here. Um, you're going to see down below looks, tools, and export. So you're going to click on tools and you're going to get all of these amazing tools. There's so much here in the free. You even scroll down and there's more. So the first thing I'm going to do is double exposure. Okay, and it'll tell you what I've chosen. And then down in the left hand corner I'm going to click on the box with the plus sign. So the picture with the plus sign. And I'm going to choose a second image. And that's an image of myself here. Um, I'm going to use this image because I want to have my eyes inside the skull's face. So I'm going to move it down and I'm going to resize it so that my eyes fit within the skull. And then I'm going to show you how to kind of obscure and erase um, the rest. Okay, so it's where I want it. So now I'm going to click the check mark in the bottom right hand corner and that commits it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is crop it down so I get rid of all that Instagram stuff. I could have done that before I, I superimpose the other image too. It's really doesn't really matter which which way you do it. So I'm going to you can choose a size, but I have to freeform this. So I'm going to choose free, and then I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And I'm just going to kind of crop it down to the actual shoulders of the skull. And like the very top of the head here. And I'm eventually going to get rid of my face completely. I don't really want to see my face. I just want to see my eyes coming through the skull. And then I'm going to click the check mark and commit. So now I have these two images together. So what do I do to mess around with them? They're committed. They're on top of each other now. They're, they are one image. They've merged. So I'm going to hit tools again. And I want you to try every single tool in here. I want you to really experiment. But I am going to start off by trying to sort of obscure the rest of my face. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the brush tool. Um, and then I'm going to go to exposure. And then I'm going to scroll down. And you'll see that I get to this eraser. 
So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to click the eyeball and the eyeball will help me see where I'm erasing, theoretically. Okay, so I'm going to bump the exposure up. Oh, there we go. And so that red mark is actually showing me where I'm erasing. It's not going to stay red. So I'm going to get up at the top there. I'm just trying to get rid of part of my face. And then I'm going to click the Commit button. And the exposure isn't really erasing necessarily. It's just overexposing my photo. So it's kind of making it brighter, which in effect gets rid of some of the pixels. Um, so now I'm just going to go around and play with some of the tools. Um, let's see, curves is kind of fun because you can you can go and do like preset curves. You can go through and look at these, or you can go back and um, let me go back to it. I committed that one, but you can go back and you can really kind of like tweak every little aspect of this to get exactly what you want. So go in. I kind of like my eyes to be a little bit darker. I can completely wash out my own image there, which I think helps a little bit with erasing. So there we go. You just got to mess with it. And you guys know this better even than me because you use probably use apps way more than I even do. Um, so and then you can play around with the presets if you want to and then commit. So I'm just going to go through each tool details, click on the little editing. I can sharpen it if I want to. Now in order to move the bar, you want to scroll to the right. You can see at the top it gets it super sharp and then scroll to the left. I'm just using my finger and I'm swiping right and I'm swiping left. Okay, so that was details. We did curves, white balance. You can uh, mess with the temperature. I'm going to bring it way down so it's almost black and white. Um, you can mess with the tint, make it a little greener if I want to. Um, you can choose an area and then mess with it. Commit. Um, we already cropped. We don't need to really learn how to do a rotate. Perspective is when you want to um, kind of mess with the, if I wanted to make it wider, I can make it wider. So it's really messing with the proportions. You don't have to commit everything. You can back out if you don't want to, but you guys know that. We've already used the brush. Uh, the brush has exposure, dodge, and burn. Burn is making something darker and dodging makes it um, lighter. So you can mess around with that. See, that's making it darker. And then if I go up, it's making it's erasing it again. So I can go in and really, really brighten up that area and kind of get rid of most of it. I think I'm going to do some vignetting. I can even brighten up this shirt. I wish I could get rid of my lips there. And this dark shirt would be nice. Um, then I could maybe burn the skull, make the skull a little bit darker. I'm, I'm running my finger over just the skull area right now. And maybe a little bit of her. I'm going to go back and forth on that. Maybe this part's brighter. Now I'm going um, back down. So you'll notice that um, plus 10 and then in the middle is an eraser and then minus 10. So those are your options. I'm going to brighten that up a bit. Okay. So I'm sort of I'm bringing the skull out and I'm trying to lose the face here. Um, the healing tool. It actually, if you go back, you can see what it does. I can erase some of my hair there. It grabs what's next to it, I believe, and duplicates it. So you can kind of maybe have fun with that, add some texture, extra texture to your image. 
Okay, so now I've almost completely obliterated the sides of my face, which is good, and added a little bit of abstraction, which is kind of fun. So I'm going to commit that. I'm starting to like it even more. And Glamour Glow. So those are just filters. You can go through and see if you like any of them. Kind of like that first one. Drama. More filters. This is going to really help your images kind of merge together a little bit. I like that one because I can see my eyes. Let's go and look. No, I like that one better. Vintage might be fun for a Halloween. It looks like it's giving you a, sort of an ombre vintage effect. I like the warmer tones. Uh, grunge would be good. So if you click on the um, diagonal hash marks, it adds different types of grunge textures. That one's nice. I think I like this one the best. And then you could go and you could brighten it up in certain areas. Um, texture strength could go down or you could really bump it up super grainy. I like that. Um, so the last row, I might want to do a little lens blur. That might be kind of fun to put the focus on the face. Maybe expand it a little bit and then have everything else kind of blur. And then a vignette. I might want to add a little bit of a vignette. Um, inner brightness and then I could mess with that Let's see what I like it's all just aesthetics right click yes it looks like I'm smiling that's kind of fun um, so play around with all of your tools I could add a frame if I wanted to maybe something vintage looking that one's nice that one's kind of cool because it looks like it's sort of drippy Some old fashioned looking ones. I like that. This old this one. I don't like that white border. Hmm. Guess I have to have the white border. There we go. There's a black border. Okay. I'll pick that one. And when you get to the point where you really like it, then you hit export. And you can save a copy. You can export it. Um, you can share it. Really whatever you want to do. And it saves all of your tools and then you hit modify and that's it and it should be in your camera roll or wherever you saved it um, you can export it as a jpeg okay and that is it so go ahead and look at your assignment it will tell you exactly how many um, to do and different combinations of things i want you to try all right thanks so much